today some local teenagers were assigned a unique summer project. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Zane Hopin joins us now live from the newsroom to tell us why some horses will be doing a lot of learning this summer. Zane. Thanks guys. 4-H clubs in eastern Idaho have teamed up with BLM to provide an opportunity that is beneficial for teenagers, horses, and anyone looking to adopt a trained horse this September. For most eastern Idaho kids, school is out for the summer. But for a select few, they were given an important project, although none of them would call it summer school. These are 14 to 18 year olds that maybe don't feel understood by some of the rest of us around them and and, and the horses are right there for them. And there's a lot of, I think, nonverbal communication. For the sixth year, the Bureau of Land Management has teamed up with 4-H clubs around the area to provide a chosen group of teenagers the opportunity to train a yearling wild horse for the summer. And I've been riding since I was four and this is just kind of a nice way. I feel that I can like give back and help others and train a quality animal for someone else. And once the summer is completed, the kids bring their horses back to where they got them, the Eastern Idaho State Fairgrounds. On September 2nd, the horses will then be up for adoption at the fair after the horses have gone from timid to ready for anything. My favorite part is seeing them load out the way they do today, kind of banging the panels and a little bit wild and scared and, and seeing them come back to the fair as show horses. Um, and then just seeing that bond with the kids and their horses. Since 2009, the program has given 300 wild horses good homes, developed horsemanship skills for over 500 kids, and raised over $43,000 for 4-H clubs around the state of Idaho. So it's safe to say it's a little more than a summer project. Now for more info on the program and to follow along with some of the horses' progress throughout the summer, you can find the link to the program's Facebook page on our website at kpvi.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Zane Hopin. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you very much, Zane. Looks like a fun summer for some of them.